Hey you guys, it's Lauren, welcome back. So today's video is gonna be my December favorites and I'm super excited because I have so many favorites here to talk about here today, both skincare, makeup, and then also some fashion things too. At the end of the video, I'm gonna talk about some Amazon finds and then also some things from, oh gosh, what's the website called? Pink Lily. It seems like every style blogger talks about that website. So I wanted to try them out. I ordered a couple of things and then, but mainly Amazon. Lots of really good, I found some great Amazon, just basic finds, basic everyday pieces that I'm very excited about. So I hope you guys enjoy this. First we'll start with my beauty faves, then we'll go into skincare, and then we'll talk about the fashion stuff. So I hope you guys had a great holiday. We definitely did. We um we celebrated Christmas and it was just it was so fun seeing the girls' reactions. I, well, not really the baby, she's she's almost eight months old, so she just got excited for the wrapping paper, really, let's be honest, she didn't really care much about the presents, but our three and a half year old, it was the cutest thing ever. She was just getting so excited about Santa until, until she was going to bed. I think she got a little freaked out, which I don't blame her, having some man just creep into my house in the middle of the night, I get it, but we're driving home and she's seeing all the lights in the sky and she's like, oh my gosh, mom, dad, there's Rudolph's nose, I, I think I see him, I think that's Santa's sleigh, so cute. But then we get home and we're looking out her bedroom window and I'm, we're showing her, we're like, there's the roof, he's gonna jump on the roof and then he's gonna jump into the chimney and she's like, yeah, mom, I'm gonna close the curtain now. I, I don't have to say hi to Santa, I don't have to say hi to him. Yeah, so she, the night of, she had, I think, some nervous excitement, but that morning she was so cute and excited and yeah, it was just, it was a really great time. So that was, the month of December was so busy, but so fun at the same time. I hope you guys had a great one. And now it's just, it was so nice to actually, I got my calendar together for January and there, it's so nice to see just empty days with nothing to do. It's just a good feeling, uh, but it feels, it definitely feels good that things are slowing down. So I had some time today. I wanted to jump on here. I love favorites videos. They're just an easy video to film for me. And I hope you guys enjoy them because I definitely like talking about my favorites and my fails. I had one fail in this video. I don't think I mentioned that in the beginning. But anyway, my first favorite, this foundation. I don't know why I forgot about this. I filmed a video review on this and I did like it in the review, but I guess I was just buying new products and I just, I don't know, I just forgot about it. But the Tarte Face Tape Foundation, I reached for this on over the holidays. I especially, I wore this Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, this last all day and the coverage is amazing this gives your face that just flawless almost like a soft filtered effect but the coverage is awesome but it doesn't have it's not heavy and cakey looking and it feels lightweight that is the thing that impresses me most about this just like Tarte Shape Tape it does not feel like a heavy face product it just feels nice and lightweight on the skin nice and airy it really doesn't feel like you're wearing anything I applied this the other day I was of course in a rush with the holidays and everything I used a little compact and I just threw this on really quick and I just I did not remember the coverage to be so high and I think I, I don't think I realized it because I was using a tiny little mirror but I looked in a larger mirror and I'm like oh my gosh this looks so good on the skin it really just literally erases everything. The coverage is awesome. It feels lightweight. Now there also are some negatives about this. It does accentuate lines. I, I definitely have to go a little lighter handed around where I have more fine lines, like in between my eyes. I have a more pronounced line right here and it it's pretty pronounced if I go heavy handed right there. So I just have to avoid certain areas. So just keep that in mind. But the coverage is just awesome. One of my friends over on Instagram was telling me that if I love this foundation, I would love Charlotte Tilbury's Airbrush Flawless Foundation because it has that same amount of full coverage, but it doesn't accentuate lines and texture. So I am intrigued about that foundation. Let me know if you guys have tried that. It sounds like something I would really like. And I just love her face products, so I might give that a go. But until then, I want to get through this. And this is just it's making me happy. I'm really liking the coverage on this. Definitely not an everyday foundation because the coverage is so high and you have, like I said, you have to be careful about your textured areas, but it feels so lightweight on the skin. It's just, that's what impresses me most about that foundation. So yeah, just loving that. Now this primer, I've been actually loving with the face tape foundation. I, I really don't like to recommend two products together. You don't need both of these, but separately they also, are, they're amazing. They perform so well on their own as well. But I love this, the glow this gives my skin and the smoothing effect. And especially since my skin has been on the drier side, this just gives the best hydration ever without being like 
overly greasy and heavy on the skin and it gives a brightening effect as well it has this like peachy tint to it and it has a slight sheen as well but not like too glittery or anything and it also the ingredients it's basically a like a liquidy silicone primer if silicone primers aren't your thing you might not like this because it does have that like really silky feeling going onto the skin so I think my greasy friends it might be a little bit too much for them but for me it only helps with the smoothing of this primer and there's also a score acid in here and licorice root so you may be getting some maybe brightening from this if they're a little lower down the ingredient list but another thing that impresses me about this the ingredient list is pretty small so just your straightforward primer ingredients nothing extra so I've really been liking this and yeah I, I've noticed this is going on sale ever so often so Hopefully this won't be discontinued, but I'm really loving this. I, like I said, I love it with fuller coverage foundations because it is like that silicone-y feel, but it's still really lightweight. And just, yeah, foundations just go over it so nicely. So I'm really excited about this. I got this a few months ago, and yeah, I, this is another thing I've reintroduced back into my routine. I actually included this in my yearly favorites for a primer. It's just great. Yeah, loving it. I get definitely more smoothing from this than the First Aid Beauty Primer that I love. So I'll reach for that if I'm feeling a little bit more textured or if there's, you know, a foundation that accentuates texture. It definitely, definitely helps. So liking that. And then this blush by Patrick Ta. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is one of my favorites. This is the shade She's Sincere. This is their monochrome moment blush, their his velvet blush. This is such a beautiful formula. If you like pigment in your blush, this isn't going to be for you because it's definitely a more of a it's more of a light wash of color. He built these blushes over the idea of he likes I guess he wants the blush to look like a second skin and it really does do that. I especially love this for when I'm wearing fuller coverage foundations because Sometimes if I have a full coverage foundation on, I don't want like my other the other pigment in my face to be too much. So I just feel like it looks too overdone. So I'm wearing it today with the Tarte foundation and I just think it looks so pretty. It really does. It becomes one with your skin and it just looks so just natural and almost just effortless on, on the skin. It's really pretty and I love the color. It's a perfect neutral pink, maybe slightly more on the peachy side. But yeah, just like that nudeness of it. Is that a word? I don't know. Probably not. But <laughs> it's just that neutral color that I feel like would be very flattering. If you have a deep skin tone, I way too. I think this would be way too light for you. Just, so just putting that out there. But if you do like a light wash of color with your blushes, I think you would love that. Packaging is gorgeous. Yeah, I'm just loving that. And then this lipstick by Becca. Another thing I included in my yearly favorites. This is the Ultimate Love Lipstick in the shade Petal. This is a gorgeous wearable berry color with a slight mauve undertone. I'm wearing it today. I'm just a sucker for this shade in the winter time. Any shade like this with that mauve undertone, especially if I'm on the paler side, I just think it's really fl flattering. And this formula, oh my gosh, I love this formula. It's that perfect, oh my gosh, the most beautiful bullet lipstick formula ever. Like, hands down. Maybe even more than Bite Beauty's and Muse Bouche. And that's saying a lot because Bite Beauty is like one of my most favorite lip formulas. This is just so buttery and silky on the lips. It's just a joy to apply. I just love these. I want to get more colors. Oh, I, just, I love the shade too. So pretty. Feels so good on the lips. I think another reason I'm reaching for that more is because my lips have been super dry, super hydrating and silky and great things in there. There's shea butter, wahoba oil, great things. And it just oh, feels so good on the lips. And that color, mm, I, I love it. All right, then speaking of shea butter and wahoba, this milk makeup, this is their milk, vegan milk moisturizer. Is that what it's called? Yeah, I guess that's what it's called. Um, I thought it had some fancy name, but I guess it's just their milk moisturizer. So I was pleasantly surprised by this, and I don't even really know why, because I looked at the ingredients, I knew my skin was going to get along with it, it had shea butter, there's squalene in here, also the whole oil, things my dry skin absolutely loves. But I don't know, maybe because it's a, a makeup brand? I did this with Tarte Skincare as well, everybody raved about it, I'm like, can it really be that good, it's a makeup brand, but I love Tarte Skincare. And I am, yeah, I'm loving this moisturizer. It has a really thick, occlusive formula. It's a really rich, it feels like, like a luxurious cream. And which maybe is another reason I was surprised by this. This is only 38 bucks and it's just so just heavy going on, which I really like because like I said, I do have dry skin. And it's I just feel like it's a great moisturizer for just packing in the hydration and packing in those serums because it does form that occlusive layer. And it just wears really nicely. I find that 
only if I apply too much, it can pill up ever so slightly, which is why I like this at night more so than if during the day underneath my makeup. During the day, I've been loving that Verse Milk not milk, I'm saying milk because I'm looking at this. The Verse Moisturizer, that's great for during the day. This is, like I said, really heavy. It's a great nighttime cream. It's, it's such a gorgeous formula. Really excited about this one. No crazy, remarkable active ingredients in there, just some good skin identical ingredients that are just gonna pack in the hydration and keep your skin moisturized. Lock in those serums. It's, it's gonna do great things for your skin. There's no fragrance in there. It's a really good moisturizer. Pleasantly surprised, happy with the price. So yes, I am very excited about that moisturizer, new favorite. And then another skincare favorite. I included this in my skincare heroes video. This is The Ordinary's Alpha Arbutin 2% with Hyaluronic Acid. So Alpha Arbutin is a known depigmenter. It's supposed to be a skin brightener. It can lighten sunspots or, or melasma. And I have noticed the biggest difference with my melasma spots. I didn't think anything could compare to good genes, even The Ordinary's um, lactic acid. Did really good things for my sunspots. I just thought chemical exfoliation was what you needed when it came to brightening the skin. But I discovered this Alpha Arbutin ingredient and it really does. It lightened my sunspots so quickly. I think that was the most impressive thing with this. I used this maybe a week or two and I, I caught myself looking in the mirror like, oh my gosh, my sunspot, they're already lighter. Like, yeah, Ex really excited about this. I only use maybe, I don't know, like 30% is gone. I'm already seeing really great results. I will say I don't like this all over my face. I like it more as a spot treatment. It just feels a little too heavy when it's all over but yeah I like it to spot treat with and it's just great really seeing great res results with that I really wish I discovered that ingredient sooner because it's doing great things loving that all right and then a hair care favorite this is by verb I discovered them through their dry their dry shampoo their dry shampoo is great it has one of those nozzle tips to it and it's that dry powder formula which I love that I think it I think they're just so easy to use when it comes to a dry shampoo but I discovered their verb ghost oil in this was like a little gift package from Octoly that they sent out and this was my favorite thing in that little package I am this is a new favorite of mine it has a really nice thick formula so it really coats the hair but it doesn't weigh it down which I really need my hair is thick it's coarse it's super dry it's kind of straw like at times so I really need something to you know that's gonna just grab my hair coat my strands and it really does make your hair so shiny it tames any frizz I can even use this like in my baby hairs up by my hairline and it doesn't weigh my hair down it's just that perfect thickness when it comes to a hair oil what's the prime it looks like the prime oil in here is argan oil so yeah I don't know I guess I, I guess my hair likes argan oil. This is really great. I do wish the scent was a little bit more potent. When I'm looking for hair care products, I'm all about a good scent. I just love a fragrance and especially hair oil too. Um, so yeah, that was the only negative with it. It kind of has maybe like a slight citrusy smell, but I don't know. Yeah, the scent doesn't really do much for me, but I just, I love the silkiness this gives my hair and it just makes my hair feel so smooth and tame. It keeps all my frizzies tame. And my str it makes my hair look healthy. I do feel like it has to do with the conditioner and shampoo I've been using. I'll talk about that soon. I'm very excited. I know I talked about Brigio. I didn't know if it was worth the hype, but I'm, I'm going off on a tangent. We'll talk about that later. But this ghost oil, I'm loving. I'm very excited about this. Now, let, that's kind of bringing me into the fail for the month. This is by Olaplex. This is their number seven bonding oil. So like I said in the beginning, this fail may not be a fail for everybody. I think it's just my coarse hair type. This is just way too light for my hair and it's just not heavy enough for me. And for $20, you're not really getting much product. And I feel like the, this packaging is kind of bizarre too. You kind of have to like, dun, 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 dun. you literally have to shake it like a salt shaker like this song says and shake it a ton of times to get lots of product out and it does make your hair shiny and smooth but it's just not heavy enough for me and I feel like the the way it coats my hair it doesn't stick around this I notice especially if I mean we haven't had humid days recently but even going into the fall from the winter when we had humid days this just not like the frizziness and my flyaways pop through it just didn't hold it didn't tame my hair so I really like an oil to keep any frizzies at bay and just to maintain that smoothness throughout the day and I just felt like it was just too late so it failed for me but if you have fine hair I don't know it might work for you because like I said it doesn't leave build up in your hair but it just was not enough for me 
the smell is amazing that's one thing oh my gosh the smell is just such like this nice light sophisticated scent it's that like i just left the salon smell which i love but yeah just too light for my hair and it just didn't stick around it didn't leave my hair nice and tame went on those you know humid days so uh, fail for me okay so that is the end of my favorites and fails as far as beauty products go we'll get into the clothes now first we'll talk about my amazon favorites and then we'll get into the pink lily the pin pink lily i only have two items but i'm very excited about these clothing so items. i think this first top is so cute i love first of all the fits really nice it's a size medium and it's just like the sleeves are nice and long which i really like and yeah i like the waffle knit too i love that pattern i think it's really cute it has this like v-neck which it's not too low not too high it's, you can dress it up or dress it down and I just I don't know I really like that color oh and I have to show you these toms so I I wear toms all the time I'm all about a casual shoe this fit is really nice I what size did I get I think these are a size 9 I'll leave all the sizes down below and I like the color too they're that khaki color so I feel like you know they won't get too dirty because they're not like stark white but they'll also match with a ton of different colors. So I just think those are, are really cute. And then this black Batwing shirt, the fit is so nice. It's nice and loose around the waist, but then the bottom is kind of cinched, so it sits really nice on your hips. And I don't know, I just like the fit of it. You can go off the shoulder or even, it kind of fits nicely, even if you just wore it right across and it doesn't hang super low. So I really like that. And then the sleeves are nice because like I said, it has that bat wing, but then you can see the wrists are a little tight. So that kind of dresses it up too, but it's this almost like a sweatshirt jersey type material, but pretty thin, but not super thin where, you know, it's see-through. Like you can't see my bra or anything, which I appreciate. So yeah, I, I think that's that shirt's super cute. And then another waffle knit pattern long sleeve. I I don't know. Is there something about this pattern that I just think is so fun? Wasn't this big in the 80s? I feel like, I don't know. I feel like it's starting to come back. And this button down, I love that trend. It's, again, you can dress it up or dress it down. And then the knot tie, you can kind of cinch it pretty tight or wear it loosely. And yeah, the fit's really nice. This is a size medium. This also kind of has a bat wing sleeve. I like the color too. It's like a darker blush pink. So I think that shirt's really fun. Now this shirt's one of my favorites. I just wish it wasn't this. It is a little see-through. So I probably could have used a top underneath this, but I love these bell sleeves. I think they're really cute. I love the v-neck and it's not too off the shoulder where you need a strapless bra with. Um, I'm sorry about the lighting. It's going in and out, but, and I like how it's cinched around the waist too. This comes in a bunch of different colors. I wish I got more colors. I just think it's so cute. So I really love that. So this blush pink top is really similar to that white one I just had on, but it doesn't have that cinched waist. I actually think I like the, the white one better, that cinched waist on that. Cause this, I don't know, it, when it's out, it kind of, it's not very flattering. I feel like it looks better tucked in. So I definitely, I would recommend getting more colors in that white rather than this top. This has the same kind of V-neck and also the bell sleeves. It just, like I said, doesn't have that cinch waist. Still really like the color. Also another thing, it's already starting to fray. Do you see that? I only wore this once, so that was kind of a bummer. I like this color, but again, I just don't like how it hangs. And this leopard print duster, I am so obsessed with. I think it's so cute. I'm all about the leopard print these days. I'm so picky with the prints though. Some of the leopard prints, you know how sometimes the spots are really teensy tiny, but this one, I don't know. I feel like the print is really fun. I love the colors and the material is really nice. It's heavy, but not too heavy. It's nice and warm. And I like the way it hangs too. It's like the perfect length. It sits right above the knees. I have it with a white top, but I think it would look really cute with a black top as well. Maybe even some black leggings. So I just love this. So that does it for Amazon. These last two items are from Pink Lily. I got this blue Sherpa and this is actually an extra small. Definitely size down. I usually, usually I would get a medium in a top like this, but I think I love Sherpas. They're super comfy. I love that they're back. I feel like this was huge in the 90s, but the pattern is really cozy. This feels really thick, really warm. Um, and there's nice zipper pockets on the side. It also has a nice, almost like a faux leather zipper and then this cute little pattern inside. So I like that little detail. And yeah, I just think it's so, so cozy. I just love these teddy bear zipper ups. I think they're so fun. And then I also got another duster from Pink Lily. I like this one because it looks super casual, but you could also dress it up. I have it paired with a dressier top. This top, I think this was a Stitch Fix top. Um, but yeah, 
I just, I like the gray because again, you could dress it down and yeah, it has a bat wing sleeve. It has these nice comfy long sleeves, which I really like. I got a size large. Um, I like these a little bit bigger. This did shrink a little bit in the dryer. So just keep that in mind too, but I'm happy with the size I got. I think it's really cute. And it's also that waffle knit pattern again. So I think it's fun. And I love these slouchy uh, pockets too. All right, so that concludes my favorites and fails. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully you enjoyed the fashion finds too. I know I definitely, I always search these kinds of videos. I just feel like on Amazon, it's so hard to tell what an outfit looks like online. It's just impossible. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you wanna see some more Amazon videos. Also to let us know down below if there's something on Amazon that you've been really excited about recently. Amazon is just, it's really hard to find quality things on there sometimes, especially when it comes to clothing. So yeah, keep us posted. Let's share if you, if you found something good. I'd love to hear from you guys and I'm sure everybody else would as well. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys had a great holiday and I'll see you guys in my next one. See you guys.